Hey everybody, um, welcome back to my Rainbow Baby update. Um, today I am just super confused about all these bottles. So as you, as you have heard, I've been, I'm having a baby and I just don't know anything about these bottles. I'm overwhelmed, I didn't buy any of these and I have the help of... Hi, I'm Natasha Boyvin from Genuine Comfort Duo Services. Exactly, so today I'm gonna tell you straight up that I'm not going to induce my milk to give to my baby. I thought about it and I talked about that already on my breast milk video. So these are all bottles that are for bottle feeding, correct? Yes, it is. Um, so we'll go over these bottles, uh, make you guys get a better understanding of what to look for in a bottle. Okay, I, I don't really understand what this is. So number one, it says drop in, even though it's backwards, drop in. Okay, so first of all, when we're bottle feeding babies, we want to, to, to try and avoid baby getting too much um, gas and air in their stomachs when they're eating. So some of the things we recommend looking for is venting systems. This does not look, this is so confusing for me guys. It looks, it literally looks like a condom. Use condom. What? <laughs> oh my God. I have no idea. Like why would it be? Where do you scrap, do you, are you supposed to close something at the bottom? No, nope. so these ones um, actually don't have the venting system. Don't have a venting system? No, but because it has this collapsible insert, okay. the baby will we'll not be getting as much this air. This is the condom. This is the condom, use condom. You insert it into the bottle. Oh my God. Obviously you pour the milk in here, screw the top on, and feed baby. And as baby drinks, this will actually collapse, avoiding that vacuum that we're looking to avoid when babies are drinking, um, preventing a lot of air in baby's tummy. Okay, that's number one. Um, come back here so you can tell. I actually really think this looks very scary, and thanks to the people that gave me those three, it's all new. But I can imagine this is probably expensive to buy. Yeah, you'll or... have to replace the inserts. Um, you might also want to think about the environment in this one, uh, that yeah. you do have to keep buying uh, new inserts for that. And I mean, the babies drink like eight times a day yep. or more, right? Okay, so you basically, and do you, but at least the, the benefit is that you don't have to clean it. Okay, so let's go to the next one. This stuff, this is definitely, it looks like it's used. This one is not used. What? How come there's no liners? No. So this one is just a regular bottle with a venting system in the nipple. Okay. So that will just make sure that baby doesn't get all that air. So there's actually little vents here on the nipple itself. Mm -hmm. And uh, you just pour the milk in, screw it on, and baby's good to go. So I guess there's a different size. They just drink different less size. or something? Yes. Uh, okay, so there's a little venting hole here. Yeah. Which is whenever you see bottles, you always see the anti-colic systems. Okay. Um, and yeah, so make sure you're looking for that when you're buying a bottle. I'm big in Dr. Brown's. I think it's just branding. It's just called Dr. Brown's. They should have sent me samples. This is makes me scared. It's glass, so you tell me. I think that's a really dangerous thing to have it like glass, don't you think, Natasha? Uh, no. Uh, I'm feeding the baby, I yeah. won't drop it, but I'm assuming when babies get bigger, they can drop it, right? Yeah, if, when baby gets older and then they, they uh, hold their own bottle, you can get the Dr. Browns in plastic as well. Okay, this looks... Same bottle. This looks very um, confusing for me. This looks like a little eyedropper. <laughs> oh, shoot. Sorry. Okay, so this one... I've heard a lot of good things from my other friends who have kids on this yes. one. So. so the Dr. Brown's is a great bottle to avoid colic or gas. gas. I would like to refer to it as gas, not colic. Um, in this one, you have the a venting system as well, but you also have the insert inside of it. Um, so it's like double venting. Yeah, so this one actually does uh, prevent, show it to the video maybe? prevent the the air going through the milk and instead it comes at the top here where the milk um, so it vents at the bottom kind of thing and then vents at the top as yeah. well and what Dr. Brown's uh, is saying is that it actually can take away the nutrients from the milk when you have the the air bubbles going through the milk which is mm -hmm. what this is avoiding I just don't want it to burp all the time well I want it to burp right yeah you want yeah. to burp it every time you feed them so I got this as a gift set 
I swear the person that gave it to me probably didn't use it in the, like it either, but guys, look at this. It just, okay, I'll wash that. This just looks scary again. So, um, I'm assuming this is not an insert. Not an insert. Same brand as the one with the insert, but uh, this one has the venting system in the bottom. And Another has, venting system. Yes, and it has the nice angle for holding the bottle when you're feeding baby. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Yes. That's so convenient. Yeah. Um, yeah, another good option. Um, so what you want to think about, though, when you choose what bottle you want to use is also how many parts are you going to wash. How many parts? Because... Yeah, I just opened that and something else falls out of this. Right? Too. So there's lots of little things you have oh to Oh my god. Apart. Seriously? Um, so that's another thing when you're thinking about what bottle to use. Uh, how many little pieces? How big a difference does it make on your baby? So try it out, see which one works best for your baby. Yeah, that's a lot of bottles that were given to me. Mm -hmm. But do you think I have enough? Or once I decide the system that I want, I should buy more of that one, right? When you decide what system you want, honestly, it depends on how good you are getting your dishes done. These are just things that I, as an intended parent, have never really thought about. Um, you said brand, so the, like Playtex, Nook. Is that the brand that is, um, the tampons or something? That's, that's Tampax. It's close, but Tampax. Is it the same family name? Um, no. <laughs> Sorry, I don't know. <laughs> Pregnancy brain here. Um, you know what? I personally really like cute things. I'm, I, I like cute things. I like this. Look at this. Isn't this so cute, you guys? I just love this little bear. It's a like cute little Winnie the Pooh. So, actually, um, this is a pretty generic bottle. It's cute. Uh, no venting system. Not even Winnie the Pooh. It's so <laughs> generic. Um, that they can't afford brand name on there. It's it's called Cherubs. Yeah. It doesn't so, look used. No venting systems. I uh, probably wouldn't recommend using this for baby. Okay. So like this is like just going straight to the recycling bin probably. Uh, probably will not be using the condom ones. But um, anyways, I thought that was just a nice little appearance. Hopefully this video was somewhat educational compared to my diaper changing yesterday. I know I had some comments there. But um, anyway, that's it for bottles today. Thank you so much, Natasha, Yay. from Genuine Comfort Doula Services.